do you hate going home? A family should feel like a sanctuary, a place where you feel loved and safe. For some lucky people, it may be just so. However, for others, a family home may be everything but a sanctuary. And since you spend most of your time with your family, you may have become used to that type of environment. Because of it, you may be living in a toxic family without even knowing it. Something might feel wrong, but you're so used to living in a toxic environment that it doesn't cross your mind that other families have it better. For this reason, here are five differences between healthy and toxic family dynamics. Number one, communication, healthy. Are you able to communicate your needs and opinions? In a healthy family, you're not afraid to say what's on your mind and are happy to listen to your family members. If there's something bothering you, you know that they're always there for you to help you with whatever you need. Toxic, but if your family is toxic, things may be a bit different. Your opinions and feelings may be invalidated. You can't even think about talking to your family about your problems because they'll either ignore you or turn it into a yelling match. In the end, you may learn to ignore them and to avoid bringing up any of your problems to them since not communicating at all feels better than being put down or having feelings. Number two, respect, healthy. Is respect important in your family? In healthy families, being respected and respecting the people around you is an important idea that is often taught from an early age. Parents that care for their children know they are not their priority. They're small people with their own minds. They know their kids need validation and respect to grow into healthy and functional adults. As children are shown respect, they learn to also show it to their parents, other people, and also to themselves. Toxic. Unfortunately, some families don't see respect as such a big deal. Sometimes they may think it's a one-sided gesture where parents get to demand respect from their kids, but don't show it to them in return. Children in these types of households may be taught to not talk back, not to demand anything, and to just listen and do as they're told, often without any explanation. This can have a negative effect where they end up doing things in fear of punishment instead of in kindness. In the long run, they may even start to resent their parents. Number three, criticism, healthy. When you care about somebody, you wanna be honest with them, even if the truth is not always the prettiest. Healthy families know that, and so are not afraid to give constructive criticism to their family members. When they critique, they do it gently, by emphasizing the good and giving suggestions about the bad. Ultimately, they just want their loved ones to be the best version of themselves, and they wanna help them on that path. Toxic. In a toxic family, criticism is often used as a weapon to attack and belittle other family members. It's harsh, excessive, and extremely hurtful. In families like these, you may hear comments like, you can't do anything right. Just look at yourself. You're stupid. What do you know? In this situation, you can't really grow as a person and it can take a toll on your feelings of self-worth and self-esteem. Number four, privacy, healthy. Do they respect your time and your space? Privacy is an important aspect of a child's life. It helps them develop into a strong, mindful person. So parents in healthy families will keep that in their mind. This means knocking on their child's door before entering, not listening in on conversations and never going through their things. If there is a reason when privacy really needs to be invaded, they make sure to explain why that needs to happen and apologize for it. Toxic. On the other hand, toxic parents won't think twice when it comes to invading their children's privacy. They might ask too many questions and over interfere. For example, they might read their kid's diary, demand to go through their phone, or find excuses to stay in their child's room when they have friends over. If a child tries to be assertive and ask for their boundaries to be respected, they may just argue with them or pretend to do so. And number five, affection, healthy. Is it usual for your family to show affection? Perhaps a kiss on the cheek, a long hug, or even just a word of kindness. In a healthy family, family members love each other and are not afraid to show it. No matter what happens, you know you are loved and you will always try to make sure that others know you love them too. While directly saying, I love you might not be a thing for some families, small acts of kindness may speak louder than words. Toxic. However, for toxic families, even if you do love each other, you may not know how to show it or even feel comfortable showing it. Members may ignore the important aspects of family life or take their family members for granted. Since it may be rare for you to get a hug or a kiss from your family, you might seek that love outside of your home. In which category would you put your family? 
Do you feel like you may not be perfect, but you're still okay? Or do you see the signs of an unhealthy dynamic? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it.